Hi, it's me, your violin teacher, Violin Judy, and here is a practice video for Sea Serpents. Now, how many beats in a measure do we have in this piece? We'll consult the time signature. It's 4-4, four, four, so that means there's four quarter notes in each measure. The tempo, the speed, the speed limit sign says moderato, and I see that right above the first measure. I'm going to count to four because there's four rests in the first measure. One, two, three, four, measure two, one, two, then three. Now there's a lot of special symbols I see on this one little lonely note. I see a down bow sign above the note. Underneath the bow I see, or underneath the note I see a sideways V, that's an accent. So what we can do to play an accent on our violin is dig our bow in a little bit by pushing down with this finger. And then the FP means we're going to play forte loud, then suddenly soft. So it's going to be loud, soft in one bow. Then the comma means we take back to the frog. And then after six more beats of rest, I'm going to play one, two, those have accents too, now soft. I can play softer, mezzo piano is medium soft, by moving my bow closer to the fingerboard. Retake. Good, now underneath measure eight, it says A-C-C-E-L, and this is an abbreviation for a cello rondo, and this means we're going to be getting faster. Well, it's like accelerating. And then in measure 10, we see C-R-E-S-C, -E and that is a crescendo. We're going to be getting louder. So I'll start measure 10. See how I was getting louder? And now I'm on the allegro. This is a little faster. Allegro means happy, fast. And I'm retaking my bow. So when I retake my bow, I always set my bow before I play. I don't go crash. So always reset your bow before you play. In measure 20, we also see the word legato. So here it's not, it's smooth. connected. Now in measure 26 we see a day crescendo sign. It looks kind of like an accent but it's longer and that means we're going to sl uh, not slow down but get softer. And then two coda. Well the second time we play this piece we will go to the coda. Now over on the next page of music we have a, a few more signs. We start mezzo piano. Rest. Press. Get louder, crescendo, soft. Get louder. Rest. Retake, set. sign but where do we go do we stop nope we go immediately back to measure 45 now I'm gonna skip to measure 50 and when I play the second time I go to the second ending two on G D I M diminuendo getting softer now on measure 54 it says R I T that's slowing down Now there's a lot of information here. DC Alcoda stands for Da Capo Alcoda. We're going to go back to the top of the piece and then when we see the coda sign we're going to skip to the coda at the, which is the last three lines of this piece. And coda means like an animal's tail in Italian. It's the end. And so I always smile when I see coda because I think that's funny. There's two more symbols. I see a bird's eye over the note. And this is called a fermata. I have a little song I always sing. Fermata, fermata, 
It means we hold notes longer than we oughta. If you see a fermata, your eyes leave your music and they go to the conductor and you watch the conductor for the cue of when to stop playing the note. Sometimes conductors will try and trick you and so you really have to pay attention to what they're doing because even if they always hold it out a certain amount, that one time you're not paying attention, that's when they'll hold it out an extra long time just to be funny and see who's paying attention. Ha ha ha. After the note, the last symbol is uh, two lines that are slanty. Uh, these are railroad tracks, we call them in North America, or a scissure. That's a slight pause. Like if you were going to drive a car across railroad tracks, well, you pause first, you stop and look both ways, and then you go. And the P underneath the note, of course, is piano. I'm not going to go back to the beginning now. I'm going to skip to the coda, measure 59. Shh, shh. Pizzicato. Where is that two on G? High, low two on D. Three, one. And now the string is going to hit the fingerboard. You want to snap it. It's a big, a Bartok pits pluck. So the string slaps the fingerboard. Slap. So have a good time practicing sea serpents this week.